Hello again, Bob Lutz and Paul Sonnentrop here at the media room at Coke Arena. The Shockers with another one, 80-53 over Tulsa. Lost to the hur Hurricane down in Tulsa last year. Uh, not the same team this year for Tulsa, but still another impressive win. Yeah, again, I think we thought Tulsa had a chance to make it interesting. They're, you know, they're big, they're athletic, uh, replacing nine seniors, though, and uh, Wichita State just did so many things well tonight, I guess starting with the rebounding, uh, where they were out-rebounded them 52-30, to 30, and that kind of set the, set the whole stage. Yeah, and, uh, you know, I thought I had the team figured out. I thought the guards were going to be the strength of this team, and uh, the two starters uh, didn't make a basket. Deshaun Smith didn't make a basket. Uh, Reeves made a couple, but it was a front line tonight. Daryl Willis, Marcus McDuffie, and Zach Brown out on the wing, and, and Ron O'Nerger, they did the damage. I thought Daryl Willis maybe played a, not maybe, he played a really key role. If there was a point where maybe this, you know, Tulsa had a chance to make it interesting, Shaq Morris gets two fouls. Uh, but Daryl Willis played really well in the first half, and when they were kind of searching for some offense a little bit, he was the guy that was able to score, and I thought he played played really well. We use the term bench loosely when it comes to Wichita State, but 52 to 20 advantage uh, from the guys coming off the bench. Again, we don't really know who the starters are, really, technically on this team. They can they go 10, 11, 12 deep. Yeah, we asked Frank Haith about preparing a scouting report for that, and he said it's, yeah, it's difficult. You've got to spend a lot of time on it, and they have people that you may not spend much time on or capable of really, really playing well for Wichita State. So 46, 37, and what was tonight? Uh, 27, the scoring margins for the Shockers. Now, I know that maybe the competition, although we thought Long Beach State and Tulsa, are you, are you as surprised by this as most people seem to be? I think so, yeah. Uh, I'm not surprised they're winning necessarily. I'm surprising at, surprised at the ease. I'm surprised that, you know, even you know, we thought a lot about Austin Reeves as a freshman coming in, but I'm surprised there seems to be, you know, no adjustment period for him. And I think Daryl Willis and Deshaun Smith, at times you thought, you know, maybe it'll take them a month or, you know, until January before they really get going. And it's taken them, you know, basically one or two games to really get going. I think, I think that's the surprise. Hard team to deal with for sure, and Maryland Eastern Shore visits uh, Coke Arena on Sunday. Uh, are they going to cancel that trip, or are they still coming? Would you please check on that? I, they'll come and pick up their check, and then, <laughs> uh, but yeah, Wichita State will move quickly on to LSU, and uh, we'll see how, how interesting that game will be. Yeah, Paul's on to the Bahamas after that to see what he's, uh, he talked about LSU, and then perhaps even... Louisville and potentially Michigan State. So lots to be learned about the Shockers, but early on, A++. We'll see you again here Sunday. Have a good one.